for those who came in late this is what we're doing restoring this old projector mechanism or turning it into something that can be used well this is the LED driver and the bad news is it's glued onto that plate let's see if I can leave it off without damaging it pal it nice in there making some progress and it's off piece of velcro on the back there just behind the gate there we are and through the front just see that there so driver LED Hmm, almost certainly obviously going to need some kind of um, condenser because even if I move that lamp forward, which is not difficult, it's still going to have to be at least that far away. And I think we're just going to lose too much light from spill, so yeah, we'll see. Switching on that. Okay, well, that obviously works. Um, and we've got light on the screen, not very bright, understandably, because we don't have a condenser lens condensing the light. Nevertheless, step forward. Now let's try bringing the LED closer to the gate. Minor improvement. That's as close as we can reasonably get because we have to be able to open the gate with some clearance. So, there's quite a lot of drop off on the corners of the image there, so we do need some kind of condenser, magnifying glass or whatever, and then a vape beam can surround lamp holder. Um, should do the trick. It's going to get a little warm in there. Probably be okay. The original uh, DeVry suitcase projector came with various types of lamp houses over the years. Um, this one is still on eBay after several months, perhaps unsurprisingly, the remains. Um, but it does include this cylindrical lamp house which incorporates a condenser lens. That will do it. One of the condenser lenses, that's part of the condenser set from a Kodak slide projector. The main problem is we won't get it close enough without obstructing the, uh, the opening of the gate. Move the lamp to the other side of this board, make a hole, and then have the condenser further back, but will it still give the same spread of light? We'd have to experiment to find out. We also have uh, heat filter glass, which is useful. But in their holders, they're too wide for a baked bean tin. Um, but there's this from last night's dinner, which I think is just about made to measure. Amazingly, I can work something out with that, um, but it will need some adapting, let's see what we can do. There we are, well the paper label's off and the aperture in the front may looks a bit grisly at the moment but I'll tidy that up. But I think we're going to need the baked bean can as well. Okay well that's in there. And it protrudes to a certain extent, which is where the 
baked bean can comes in. Or at least part of it. I can't find my stash of uh, aluminium and brass sheet, which is annoying. So, anyway, I've made these little plates out of tin plate, another old tin can. And there's one of them fixed on there. So, the next job is to properly fix this um, condenser unit onto the projector board. I think that's going to work. There's enough uh, room to thread the film there. So I need to finish this off. Black stove enamel paint is going to get fairly old. So I think that's the answer.